Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mathematics Year 4, Relationship and Algebra, Unit 7, Coordinates, Ratio and Proportion. Our subtopic today is Ratio. What is Ratio? A ratio indicates how many times one number contains another. The numbers in a ratio may be quantities of any kind, such as counts of people or objects, or such as measurement of length, weeks, time, etc. A ratio may be specified either by giving both constituting numbers written as A to B or AB or by giving just the value of the equation A over B. Now we go to example 1. Look at the ingredient of kueh lapis. Now the question is, what is the ratio of the number of cups of sugar to the number of cups of thick coconut milk? Our keyword here is the number of cups of sugar and the number of cups of thick coconut milk. Now, look at this. One cup of thick coconut milk and then one cup of sugar. Answer is the ratio of 1 to 1. Okay, 1, 1. Okay, 1 to 1. Is written as 1 1 the ratio of the number of cups of sugar to the number of cups of thick coconut milk is 1 1 now look at example 2 number of storybooks read by four pupils in a week pupil Janaki Sherry Kun Nora the number of storybooks Belongs to Janaki is 1, Sherry 4, Kun 6, Nora 5. Now the question is, state the ratio of the number of Janaki storybooks to the number of Sherry storybooks. Okay, 1, Janaki and Sherry. So 1 and 4. So the answer is, the ratio of the number of Janaki storybooks to the number of Sherry storybooks is 1, 4. Now, we go to example 3. Chiu's mother cooks fish and chicken. What is the ratio of the mass of fish to the mass of chicken as shown below? Fish, 1 kilogram. Chicken, 10 kilogram. The answer is the number of the ratio of the number of fish to the number of chicken is 1 10. And then your tips for today the unit of ratio is not required to be written. Okay, so the unit involved here is kilogram. So uh, not required to be written, okay? Just like this, one ten only, not one kilogram, ten kilogram, okay, right? One ten only. Okay, class. Now we go to your task for today. Okay, test yourself. Number one, the picture shows a vase of flower. Set the ratio of A, the number of roses to the number of tulips. B. The number of roses to the number of sunflowers. Number 2. The table shows the length of 3 wires. Wire R, 1 mm. Wire S, 1 cm. And wire T, 1 m. Set the ratio of A. The length of wire R to the length of wire S. The length of wire S to the length of wire T. Okay, look at this question. The unit not same. For this question, please um, 
convert the unit first. Okay. If you want to uh, solve the question A, the length of wire R to the length of wire S. Okay, the unit involved here millimeter and centimeter. What should you do? Change, uh, okay, convert centimeter to millimeter. Okay, and then you got the answer for S is 10 uh, millimeter. Okay, 10 millimeter, 10, uh, convert the unit first. Okay, number three. Okay, look at the picture gallery here. Okay. 1 ml, 100 ml and 1 L. That means 1 millimeter, sorry, 1 milliliter, 100 milliliter and 1 liter. Set the ratio of A, the volume of 1 milliliter shrink to the volume of 100 uh, shrink. Okay, 100 milliliter shrink. And then convert the volume, uh, okay, set the ratio of 1 milliliter shrink to the volume of 1 liter uh, of liquid bag. Okay, now look at this. For question A, milliliter, same unit. So, no need to convert. Okay, no need to convert uh, uh, any of this. But for B, 1 liter, 1 milliliter. So, for B, uh, convert liter to milliliter first. Okay, and then uh, state the ratio. Okay, class. So, that's all for today. See you next lesson. Thank you. Thank you.